thanks for, for the, the food. food. Today's dinner is boiled bean sprouts as a replacement for pasta, and thinly sliced bean sprouts flared with ketchup sprinkled on top to make it spaghetti-esque. Thanks. It tastes great. I'm Shun, a second year in primary school. My parents have looked sad ever since we became poor, which is why I've been doing housework in their stead. Just a year ago, we lived in a clean apartment and had plenty of tasty food to eat. The reason why that all changed is... I know it's gonna work. All I need is for you to lend me your name. Uh, as a best friend, I can't say no. My father became his friend's joint guarantor, but he later disappeared, leaving only debt behind. As a result, my father was forced to return the debt as a guarantor. The amount of debt was massive. We ended up selling our apartment and moving to a dilapidated one. Large food expenditures weren't an option anymore as we quickly fell into poverty. <sighs> Why is this happening? Uh... Shun, why are you always wearing clothes that are so filthy? <laughs> There's a hole where your elbow is. <laughs> Do you own any other clothes? <laughs> We're poor, so we can't buy any new clothes. <laughs> Don't you smell something? The area around you smells so bad. <laughs> We're poor, so I can only take a bath every three days. Moments like this were a daily occurrence. When it gets really bad, there are no classes on weekends, so I didn't get school food. I'm so hungry. Today's a weekday, so I can finally eat something proper. Shun, here, have this. Huh? It's a blessing from God for a poor soul like you. Now eat it. I'm so hungry. It's for the sake of surviving. He actually ate the rotten mandarin orange. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> oh. Oh. Damn it! He hit me! Hey, don't touch that ball! It might start molding if you touch it with your dirty hands. Sorry, but I also want to play dodgeball. I can't do this anymore. Everything's so painful. I'm back. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Shun, I'm so sorry. Please, forgive your mom and dad. No way! They left me behind! There's no way a primary school kid like me can continue living alone with a debt like this! Shortly after that, electricity, water supply, and gas had all stopped. The saved up money is gone too. It's over. I'm so hungry. You're here, aren't you? Give us our money! Hmm, you alone, kid? Where's your parents? They disappeared a while ago. Uh, can't be helped. Let's just take him in for now. Hey, you're gross, so go take a shower first. Um, I don't have any spare clothes. Yeah, we don't have any clothes for kids, so just wear this for the time being. Thank you very much. You're hungry, right? Want to eat something? Meat. Alright, then let's head to some yakiniku. Fellas, we're getting some meat. Roger. He looks scary, but he's actually pretty kind. Here, eat loads. Um, why are you... There's no reason to punish a kid like you. Plus, I have a daughter who's the same age as you, so I can't go off treating you harshly. But, this doesn't mean the debt is gone. Now that your parents are gone, you'll be returning it by working. Uh, okay, but how? I'm the boss of this group, you see. You'll be working as my underling. I'll guarantee food and shelter, and even let you attend school. So, how about it? Yes, I'd love to do it! This is how I was taken in by a Yakuza boss. He allowed me to stay at a better apartment than the previous one. This will be your place from today. You'll be living alone, but you're a man, so I know you'll manage. Yes, sir! Um, what kind of work should I do? In the morning before heading to school, you'll clean our headquarters, cook breakfast, and wash our clothes. In the afternoon after coming back, you'll cook our dinner, clean our baths, and do other general housework. Understood! From there, I did my best each day to accomplish the work I was given. Hmm, you're doing good. Years went by, and I entered my third year in high school. Huh, 
Looks like you're graduating soon. It's all thanks to you, sir. Based on how hard you've worked until now, I have a request to ask. What is it? I told you I have a daughter, right? I want her to undergo bridal training. Huh? You have plenty to teach her when it comes to housework and what a normal family is. So help me out, will you? Housework? And what a normal family is? I'm not sure how much I can help, but I can't say no to the boss after everything he's done for me. Understood. Yes, he's still quite young, but he's got plenty of guts. So, may I please ask him to be accepted at Moroboshi-sama's company? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. For boss to be talking so respectfully, may I ask who was on the phone? The head of the globally recognized Moroboshi conglomerate. On a later date, I was invited to a stylish apartment room. This is my daughter, Yukino. So, you're Shun! My dad told me a lot about you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Huh, they look nothing alike. You two will be living together from today. Huh? Yukino, be sure to undergo proper bridal training and learn what it means to be a normal family. Okay. I'm sure you already know, but I hope I don't have to remind you what'll happen if you lay your hands on her. Uh, of course. Hmm, what should I start with? Guess some simple cooking should do it. Yukino-san, uh, please cook something you're good at. Okay. Was this how they did it? Oh dear, she's not just bad at cooking. She doesn't know the first thing about it. Alright, uh, let's leave cooking for later and try cleaning the place. Okay? Let's start by vacuuming. Um... Uh, have you never used a vacuum cleaner before? Yeah. How did you get by until now? I left it all to a housemaid. I see. Uh, we have a long way to go. Step by step, I carefully taught her the ropes of cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Thanks, Shun! I may not be good at anything now, but I want to become a great bride in the future. That's great to hear. I'm sure you'll get there in no time. So, I'll do my best. That night... Oh, that's it for the first day. As expected from an apartment owned by the boss's daughter, this bath is huge. As I was enjoying the massive bath... Huh? I I'm still inside! It's normal for families to take baths together, right? I'll get killed by the boss if I don't decline. But taking a bath with a beauty like her would be... <laughs> no! What's wrong? I, I'm sorry, but I can't take a bath with you. I... I can't betray the boss's trust. Why not? Families only take baths together until around lower primary school. But there might be some lovers or married couples who often use the baths together. Uh, now, uh, take your time. From then on, I gave strict training for Yukino who seemed to lack common logic. Alright, today I'll be teaching how to wash clothing. You have solid and liquid detergent, and the amount used depends on how many clothes you're washing. Hmm. Softeners like this one are used to soften clothing. So the more you use, the softer and prettier your clothes become? Huh? No, if you bought that much... Uh... Using breaks between training sessions, I taught her what a normal family was like as best as I could. Well, I also only belong to a normal family until second year in primary school, though. In a normal family, you say, I'm home, when you enter your house. And the people inside will reply, welcome back. What? Your subordinates don't all come to greet you? <laughs> no. Well, your family is a special case. So you wouldn't ride a black car to school? No, you wouldn't. You'd usually walk there. Hmm, I see. A few days later. You did great. Now, let's move on to the main dish. It's pretty fun. So, how's the training been going? I believe she's improving quite a bit. I would heard you come to visit, so I did my best. Here, try this. Y Yukino, you made this for me? Aw, Dad, you're so overdramatic. It's so good. Oh, if you can make omelette rice that's this good, then you won't be ashamed to enter any household. 
Oh well, since you don't have an opponent yet, I'll keep eating whatever you make. Um, about that, Dad. I think I've fallen in love with Shun! Huh? <laughs> Shun, are you prepared to become my son? Your son, sir? That's what it means to marry Yukino. I've watched you ever since you were a little kid. I've always thought you were the only person my daughter deserved. Plus, I've decided that her partner has to be someone connected to the Yakuza world. B but Shun, I'll let you off all the remaining debt left by your parents. You'll also be relieved of your job in the group. From now on, I want you to find a proper job and make my daughter happy. Boss, y you say proper job, but... I've organized it so that you'll be working for a company owned by the Moroboshi Conglomerate. <gasps> really? Dad, that's amazing! For Boss to go so far... I understand. I'll make Yukino-san happy. All right. If you make my daughter cry, Shun, even if it's you... Uh, uh, of course not. Since it's parent approved, we're basically a family now, right? Shun, let's take a bath together to celebrate! What? I'll never allow something like that! But boss, uh, please, calm down! How could I stay calm with something like this? Aw, come on, Dad. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here! We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!